The Boku municipality has relatively been peaceful with a boom in economic activities such as trading and farming. It is the business hub of the Upper East region with great potential for rapid development. However, a protracted ethnic conflict has been the bane of her progress. On Wednesday, November 24, 2021, the government imposed a curfew and a ban on smoke wearing in the municipality following concerns over insecurity. The Mamprosis youth in Boku allege that there are attempts to restrain them from performing the funeral of their late chief, Naba Na Adam Zangbeo Tampuri. They also alleged that there are attempts to change the name Boku to Kusak and the Boku Senior High School to Azoka Senior High School and these account for the recent wave of insecurity in the area. Speaking at a press conference in Boku, spokesperson for the Mamprosis youth, Abdul Majid Bagura, said they wanted government to withdraw li2409 for correction to maintain the name boku in all correspondence and ensure the performance of the funeral rites of their late chief one in listing the various paramount chiefs in the upper east it says a the paramount chief of kusok into bracket boku we find this attempt of replacing boku with kusok a sacrilegious attempt to distort change over 30 years of the history of Boku and its surrounding areas. As previously indicated, the word Kusok is an alien nomenclature as far as the history of Boku and the Boku traditional council is concerned. But the Kusag Youth Movement in Boku wants the government to reverse the curfew and initiate alternatives to arrest and prosecute perpetrators who threaten the security in the area. Speaking at a press conference in Boku, the spokesperson of the group, Ayamba Adams Apuni, said the government needed to stop massaging the issues and confront them head on to create peace in the area. At least seven persons have been arrested by the police in connection with the disturbances in Boko, but the Upper East Regional Police Commander DCOP Yakubo Gariba declined to speak to the media on the matter. However, traders whose businesses have been hit by the disturbances in Boku tell City News that life has become unbearable for their families and they want the government to swiftly resolve the situation. We are by this statement asking the Interior Minister to reverse the imposition of the curfew and find better ways of arresting these criminals and stop punishing innocent people. He wants the government to stop massaging the issue and effects arrest of all those social media guys who brought us to this stage. At least seven persons have been arrested by the police in connection with the disturbances in Boku, but the Upper East Regional Police Commander, DCOP Shaibu Gariba, declined to speak to the media on the matter. However, traders whose businesses have been hit by the disturbances in Boku tell City News that life has become unbearable for their families and they want the government to swiftly resolve the situation. Should please get up and help us with army so that we can stop this this thing. This thing is past. Now that we came and you want to also spoil our future. Our grandparents' own is gone, so they should please stop this one so that we can also come and buy something and sell and get something to eat and also take care of our children. Please, we are begging Boki people to stop doing all these things. If not, we, are, we don't even know what we are even doing right now. The curfew certainly is having a dire consequence on residents and more particularly to traders. They are appealing to government to withdraw the imposition of the curfew and find alternative ways to resolve the unpass. Reporting for City News, Frederick Aouni, Boku.